Hello everyone, welcome to Technical Voice. In this video, I'm gonna talk about agents. So, uh, it's very important to understand the concept of the agent uh, before creating our first pipeline. So, if I navigate to project settings and hit on agent pools, you can see uh, there is one default and there was one Azure pipelines. So, what exactly the agents are? So, on your local machine, if you have some project, for example, you have a .NET application and when you build is, you, you click on the build, uh, definitely there is some procedures or them, there is some process running on your machine to build the project. Okay, so definitely when we have some Azure pipelines that is responsible to uh, build our project, it should run on some machine. So where is that machine? So we can use our own self-hosted machine or we can use a Microsoft hosted machine. Okay, so currently there are two types of agents. Uh, the one is a Microsoft hosted agent and the other one is self-hosted agents. That means our own machine. So what's the difference and when to use which agent? So uh, Microsoft hosted agents uh, with this uh, Microsoft hosted agents, the maintenance and the upgrades are taken care for you by the Microsoft. So each time you run a pipeline, you get a fresh virtual machine, and the virtual machine is declared after uh, you know it's it's finished or discarded after uh, the pipeline is completed. So Microsoft hosted agents can run jobs directly on the VM, or uh, might be they are using some container. And uh, if you uh, talk about the self-hosted agents, uh, you need to uh, maintain your own machine and uh, there are pros and cons for using the Microsoft hosted. So if you have a very simple application and you don't need any extra, uh, you know, softwares to be uh, installed on the machine, so you can use a Microsoft hosted. So you don't need to worry about uh, that to maintain some application. but if you have a, some complex application where you need some uh, different kind of configurations uh, to build your project then you should go for the self-hosted agent and uh, you can install the agent on the you know on the Linux or uh, on Windows machine or or you can also use the docker container so uh, for the first uh, uh, you know uh, pipelines we will use the Microsoft hosted and then we will also see how to, we can use the self hosted agent so to add the uh, self hosted we will definitely see in the later video but just here you you can see that you can use the self hosted and uh, Azure virtual machines so that's it for this video so in the next video I'm gonna uh, talk about a different ways to create the pipeline okay Thanks. Bye-bye.